Ready? Yes. Okay, behave yourself. Hey friends, we are here with a fun little video. Um, we were challenged by Regina and Kelly over at Extraordinary Journey to answer 10 questions about RVing. So we're gonna, yeah, 10. 10 whole questions that you have to answer. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's a quiz. Ah. Am <laughs> so, I going to find out what Disney princess I am? <laughs> yes. That's exactly what you're going to find out. Yes. I kind of think what? you're like a Cinderella, though. Oh. Or a <laughs> I'm mean with a frying pan. There you go. That's true. You are. All right. So let's get started. Okay. Okay. You ready? Uh huh. I know we're going to have some different answers, but I think some of ours will also be the same. Sure. Okay, number one, if you could change or add one thing about your RV, what would it be? Change or add one thing about our RV, what would it be? So, I don't know. Really? Yeah, because the thing is, when I think about our RV... I, I have my answer, I know. Well, so when I think about our RV, I, I think that it's great the way it is mm -hmm. for what it is. Yes. But like when we go full time, there are a lot of things that I'd want to be different. Right. Um, but one thing about this particular RV. I wish I had a bigger outdoor kitchen. Okay, and I wish that we had a deeper sink in the bathroom mm. that you can really get your hands under because that's a problem for me. And I don't have big hands. It's frustrating. No. All right, on to number two. What mm. is something you didn't expect about RVing? Dealing with all the poop. <laughs> I mean, you know that you're going to have to, but you don't really think about right. it. Right. Um, mine would be, I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. Oh. I know. I, I expected to enjoy it, but I wasn't super duper enthusiastic about it like you were. Maybe because you were so enthusiastic about it, I was like, let's yeah. put the brakes on, chill out, calm down. It's just an RV, but I love it. So I didn't really expect that. All right, number three, what was your deciding factor for an RV? The Malcolm. Malcolm, yeah. <laughs> it, when Malcolm was ready, then we knew it was time. We, we knew it was going to happen. We knew we had to jump on it before he changed his mind. Right, and he loves it. Oh my <laughs> he gosh, does. he loves it so he much does. now. He's, so. he's very sad that it's in storage for the winter. So, so I. I know, we all are. Number four, what is your favorite camp meal? Well, I would say anything that you make because you're the cook. Mm -hmm. um, you grill everything, um, breakfast on the grill, lunch, dinner, it's all fantastic. Um, I think traditional campfire food though, if we had to do like a traditional camping food, I dig the walking tacos. Yeah, walking tacos are good. Yeah, that would if, be my If you favorite. don't know what walking tacos are, it's when you grill up some, you know, hamburger or another taco type stuff, and you um, crush up a bag of Doritos like or little, some other little kind bag. of chips. Not, yeah. like a, not like a family <laughs> size bag. Depends on how hungry you are, really. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, yeah, and then you, you pour some of that in there, and you shake it up, and, and you just walk around and eat it. Yes. It's pretty awesome. Although I don't ever walk around and eat things, because I would make a mess. So, yeah. oh, number five, what is... Also, I agree, walking tacos would be my favorite. Yeah, They're well, I speedy. thought, because well, you uh, said, yes, yeah. walk, I, okay, I'm so it's sorry. Fine. No problem. Nobody cares what you think. I know, they really <laughs> don't. <laughs> number five, are you ready? Yes. What is your must-see RV destination? Oh, there are so many. The world. Yeah, the world. I want to RV the world. Well, you were just asking me earlier, like, where do you want to go? What do you want to see? And I listed off 30 places off the top of my head. Yeah. Now we're doing our one of the things on my list next year for our big trip. We're going to Canada. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, Canada. Was I supposed to let people know that we we're doing that? I don't care. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to do like a reveal video for our big trip, but no, I don't. We're going to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Canada. Um, Colorado. I don't know. Anywhere yeah. with mountains. Mountains. Mountains are like hipster crack, is what they say. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like the mountains. <laughs> you do look a little hipster in your new hat. I know. That's great. Are we ready to move on to number six? Yes, please. Okay, number six. What is your favorite thing about RVing? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, being out there. Just all the different places to, that we get to see. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. You don't have to... It's not free. Well, 
freedom that is or RVing or you know. RVing no <laughs> kidding um, you know but you can kind of wake up when you want go where you want do what you want uh, with I mean, some, in theory. In theory. I mean, you with, know, with, you, without a Malcolm, you without can do a Malcolm, you can do those things. I was just gonna. I was getting to that part. I'm so sorry. Like some people are a little bit limited by who they travel with, what they travel with, and what they do for a living. Um, we have limitations, but I like being out in the world. Yeah. So exactly. That's my favorite thing. I like that the scenery changes all the time. Yes. I'm, I'm kind of a nomadic person. I think. You are, which is funny because I'm not. I like my roots, man. But now you are. So. But, well, I, I am part-time. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number seven. What is your least favorite thing about RVing? That we can't do it year-round right now. That was going to be parking up, packing up and, and coming home yeah. is my least favorite thing about RVing, I mm. think. All right. Number eight. What is your must-have on your next RV? Um, the must-have. The deal breaker feature, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, I think pragmatically, it's going to have to be the room. The bunk, yeah. Yeah, like a separate room for for Malcolm. A bunk house or a mid bunk model. Um, that's definitely mine. Yeah. If I'm going to go fun with it, I would say a fireplace. Okay, that's. I was going to say like a kitchen island and more counter space because we don't have much, and yeah. I will need space for my ice maker. And all of my gadgets and gizmos aplenty. Right, your ice maker, so that my fireplace can melt on your ice. <laughs> okay. It's a circle of life. Yeah. Number nine, right? We're on number nine? Yes. Uh, number yeah. nine. Wow. What is your favorite adult beverage at camp? Um, <laughs> anything that I actually have time to drink. <laughs> right. By the time we're done with Malcolm, there's not much time for adult beverages. Right, and I, you know, I'm not much of a drinker. Yeah. A, a glass of wine will knock me out. Um, usually, like, a half or even a fourth a glass of wine will knock me out. So, I don't know. Maybe I should switch to something hard, like whiskey. Yeah, you go <laughs> like back to whiskey. Or, I used to be, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're um, not really. We're not real big alcohol drinkers. We'll no. we'll have a glass of wine or a beer every night. I, I mean, you beer. won't do the beer, but I'll be, I like to have a beer when I'm cooking. You do. I do. That's yep. nasty, but yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, and number ten. What is your favorite indoor RV accessory? Well, I already know mine. It's the same as Regina's. I love my essential oil diffuser. That is the first thing that I plug in and turn on when we set up camp. So, you know, because we don't get to go full time. We don't get to go every weekend. So sometimes the camper sits and bakes in the hot Missouri sun for a week or sometimes two. And so no matter how good we clean it out when we drop it back off at the storage lot, it's a little musty smelling. Yes. So musty. The peppermint and eucalyptus and lemon oil go in the diffuser, it gets plugged in, turned on, and everything is right in my world. Yeah. But what about you? What is your favorite indoor RV accessory? Um, I'm going to go a little different from you. You I, always do. I, I know. Um, the working Wi-Fi booster router. Ah, thing. yes. <laughs> this is... It's an ongoing saga. No, it's better now. Well, it is better now, we've, but we've we've got it. We've come to a a, a bit of a nirvana with it. Yes, so. hopefully um, it stays. Right. So I mean, and I know that's you know you go out to get away from it all, but but we are very connected people. You yes. know, I, I have to be for work, so do you. Right, um, and we've got three adultish kids. Um, you know, two teenagers, one adult child. We need to make sure that when we're gone for a week that things are getting handled, like the mail's getting picked up and the trash is getting taken out. And, right. you know, they're still alive. Um, we're not helicopter parents, but we like to know that they're still alive. Right. Makes us right. feel good. So it's, you know, but, but work has been the big thing. Yes. And, and that's kind of the, the barrier to being out more is being yeah. able to work. So having yeah. that, that Wi-Fi. So that it has been a struggle and I'm very happy that now we've kind of come to uh, yes. A good place with that. Yeah, because I gotta have my Pokemon Go. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> just kidding. I know. I'm just kidding. You don't. I don't. <laughs> All right. 
So we would like to thank Regina and Kelly from Extraordinary Journey for mm -hmm. nominating us or challenging us. Yes. Because this was a whole lot of fun. And um, it was fun to see how um, some of our answers kind of matched up a little bit. Yeah. And we would like to challenge three channels. Yep. Today is an adventure day. Yep. We want to see you guys do this. Yes. But um, we want to see Jasper do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's see Jasper answer these questions. <laughs> Um, who else are we going to nominate? Uh, the Roads We Roam. Okay. And More Fam Fun. Yeah, some of our friends get you answering these questions. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll post the questions down below. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Awesome. Well, awesome. thanks for tuning in, guys. Yay. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.